Okay, here's week one announcements. Uh, let's see, hey, go ahead and log into uh, your MIT lab account. You should see your CIT 12 and click on there. Inside there, you should be able to see your initial uh, starting page. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go into course materials. Give it a second here for the screen to refresh here. When you get into course materials, you should see your week one, January 9th to the 14th. Let me click on that week one. And inside that it says weekly announcements. So hey, here we go. This is where we should find this video. And that is we should read these instructions first. Always take a look at that document. Watch video links. Trainings are for learning purposes only. I don't score the trainings. Uh, you can take them as many times as you want. Number three, you can take an assessment three times and I'm gonna keep your highest score. Number four is once you submit a training or assessment, you'll be able to view your submission uh, by looking at the uh, methods to complete, okay? Uh, and that'll show you how to actually um, do the actual act act exercise in case there's a stumbling block or whatever. You're only allowed to take a chapter quiz one time and you only have one hour to take a quiz. Mm, so keep that in mind, quizzes, one shot, okay? You're allowed to take the hands-on lab test. Those are the practical exams three times, but I'll keep your highest score. And then finally, uh, when you take the final, you can only take the final one time, and you got two hours to complete that final. So let's close that out. Now, the next thing I want you to do is to, uh, obviously you're watching this week one announcements and stuff, is take a tour of the trainings. And so if I click on the tour of the trainings here, it's a short video, as you can kind of see, it'll pop up here, it just takes a few seconds, and then it'll walk you through, you know, uh, how a training works inside of my IT lab, okay? It'll talk about the learning aids as well. Then take a tour of of the assessments. These are all videos here. Uh, and so again, the assessments and the trainings are similar. They're not identical. They are similar. Uh, the big difference is, is that the trainings will show you with learning aids how to do things. The assessments will not have a learning. They will expect you to have already learned how to do it in the training. And so you should be good to go, okay, when you're walking through the assessments. And then finally, take a tour of the e-text for this class and stuff. When you go into the e-text of the class, um, again, it'll walk you through as how is the textbook work and how is it structured and going through and reading and some tips about maybe how to use the highlighter tool to kind of help you study as if it was a physical book. Anyway, kind of walk through. Remember, we only have nine chapters to worry about for this class. Um, we're using the introductory, even though it may be listed as comprehensive. We stop at chapter nine, okay? And so that was the tour of the e-text. And then finally, a tour of the hands-on practical exams. You know, these used to be called the grader projects, the kind of things. And we'll kind of work you through about the one, two, three process of how to take a practical exam, where you basically is down one, step one, you're gonna download an instruction sheet and any kind of uh, starting files. Step two, you're gonna complete a bunch of tasks in that instruction sheet. And then step three, you're gonna upload it and score it and kind of see how you did, okay? So in one week one and stuff, the basic layout here is pretty simple. I'm gonna make sure that you uh, have watched all these videos. Make sure that you have my T Lab. Let me go back to the My Courses section here. Make sure you have my IT lab, you know, paid for and all registered. Remember, if our course outline, we take a look at it. I showed you that in another video. You have to have my IT lab registered and paid for this first week of school. There are no exceptions. If it's not paid for and all set to go by uh, the 14th, you're going to be dropped from the class. Okay. So your first goal of week one is to get my IT lab, get it registered, get it paid for, and you start now. Okay. All right. Hope you're having a great day. Have a good one. Bye.